Hey there, wouldn't it be awesome to have all the data you ever needed at your fingertips while you were doing your daily work in Help Scout? Today I'll demo why Census and Help Scout together is the easiest way for customer success teams to do more with their data. No more wrestling with CSV files or relying on engineering favors. Help Scout is a powerful customer success platform that combines email, live chat, and a knowledge base to enable businesses to deliver help with a personal touch. And Census Reverse ETL helps you sync data from your data warehouse into all of your favorite business applications like Help Scout. This means it's super easy to take action and automate daily work, um, such as number one, calculating account health scores to identify healthy or at-risk customers, and then triggering alerts to help customer success reps proactively reach out. Number two, improving agent productivity by displaying product usage metrics next to your tickets so account reps don't have to check five different tools to get the full picture. Or number three, prioritizing tickets from VIP customers by automatically tagging and routing requests from users associated with VIP accounts. So let's get started. In my Help Scout account, I've created some fields to track how users are using my products, like logins in the last 30 days, but I don't have any data here. So I'm going to use Census to populate these fields and keep them in sync as customers use the products more or less. So we need to do three things to get this set up. Number one is we're going to plug Census into our data warehouse. We support all of the major data warehouses. Number two is we're going to connect Census to Help Scout. And then number three, we'll choose which objects we want to sync and then map the fields between them. So let's connect to our data warehouse. You can click add source here. For example, if you want to connect to Snowflake, you would enter your Snowflake credentials here and we have more directions um, in our product documentation. Once you've entered your credentials, hit connect. Number two is we want to connect Census to Help Scout. So let's go to connections and then add a service. <clears throat> and then you can easily connect through an OAuth flow. So I'll click authorize here. The final step is to create a model, which is a simple SQL query that determines what data you want to move from your data warehouse to Help Scout. In this case, I'll use a simple query that selects a demo list I've already created in Redshift. Um, you can make these models as simple or as complex as you want, or you can ask your data team to build tables you can use in the warehouse. Now I want to create a sync. And to do that, create a new sync. I need to select a source and a destination. So my source was that uh, list that I just showed fictional characters, and then of course we want to connect to Help Scout. <clears throat> Great. And the object that we support syncing to is the customer. Um, we support a couple of different sync behaviors, um, update only and update or create. Update or create, which I'm going to use today, means that I'll update existing records um, if the IDs match. Otherwise, I'll create new records if they don't already exist in Help Scout. Here is where we choose the unique identifier that will match the source and destination records. In this case, I'm going to use email. And then I can choose uh, which fields are synced from the source to help scout. First name, last name, and then I wanted to do logins as well. Perfect. And then I can run my sync. While the sync is running, I'll show you how to change uh, how often your sync will run. So over here, I can click to change the schedule from manual all the way up to continuous, depending on how quickly you need this data to be updated. So once my sync has finished running, I can see that I have 29 records that have been updated. And if I go back into Help Scout and look at my customers, refresh this page, I can see that my data has been added. So let me look at one of my customers that I just added. So I can start identifying at-risk or healthy customers. I see that, for example, Han Solo has only logged in twice in the last 30 days. So let's trigger a Slack alert for the CSM for Han Solo to reach out, um, do a health check, and see why his usage is low. The best part is you don't have to rely on the engineering team or the data team to get data. We can't wait for you to start using Census and Help Scout. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at hello at getcensus.com. Thanks.